Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron from Black Swamp Preppers. Today I've got an unboxing and a review for you guys of the Coyote Reaper by Predator Tactics. This is a predator hunting light, so uh, hang around and we'll see what it's about. Alright guys, so like I said, we've got the Coyote Reaper here. This is by Predator Tactics. This is a predator hunting light or for hogs. Um, fox, coyote, bobcat, whatever's predator. It could be a predator in your area. Uh, this is the green LED. They also make an amber. They make a white. They make a red. And they make a green. I believe there may even also be a blue filter available for them now. Um, but this is the rifle kit. These retail for right around $160 to $200, but you get this nice little black plastic carry case with it, which actually is pretty good quality. We'll look at that in a second. Here's a couple of the different mounts that this comes with, uh, different chargers and batteries. Claims up to a 500-yard identification range. Uh, that's an eye range. That's not a target acquisition range. That's an identification range. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that they mean you can you can see the reflection of eyes from 500 yards uh, Different mounts chargers uh, It comes with the extension to That's enough of the box Let's get into it here Snap this guy open Right when we open the box Greeted with a little bit of literature. <clears throat> this is another one of their items the buck lantern. Uh, it's a headlamp predator tactic sticker nice addition and a little bit more on uh, the contents of the box and uh, just a quick overview of how everything works set that stuff off to the side and here we have your coyote reaper we'll just start with the light here comes with a lanyard attached a wrist strap here's your light um, it's got one heck of an objective on it it is focusable by turning the collet here. It focuses right down to a, a very fine beam. It actually kind of looks like the LED itself. It's kind of a square. Um, we got some nice laser, laser engraving there, Coyote Reaper. Pull the back off. This is where your batteries will go. Right in there. All the threads and everything on this seem to be of good quality. Uh, the aluminum housing is very nice quality. The button has a nice, nice audible click to it. <clears throat> you can definitely feel it clicking. So uh, we'll go to, how about our extension tube? I'll show you how that works in a minute. It does come with the extension tube. Here we've got two Predator Tactics brand 18650 batteries. 3.7 volt, 3000 milliamp hours. Rechargeables. Here we've got your standard 110 AC wall charger. And uh, this is the adapter for the wall charger to charge your two 18650 batteries at once. You can charge one at a time or you can charge them both at the same time, it doesn't matter. Here's the 12 volt adapter for your car or your truck if you're out hunting and uh, need to give your batteries a quick charge. You've got your adapter here. Plugs right into the same adapter that your uh, 110 plug does. Go to this next here. As I said, it's a nice foam lined box. Everything has a place and everything stays in its place um, very nicely. Protects it well while traveling. Here is your end cap, replaceable end cap with a pressure switch. This is a little pigtail coil wire that'll stretch. This comes with a little bit of adhesive and some Velcro on it, so it would be easily removable from your rifle or bow, wherever you're going to put it. And that would be hands-free operation. Click the button on, click the button off. Here is your scope mount. This will mount to a 1-inch tube or a 30-millimeter tube. Like I said, so this is your scope mount. 
and this will mount to a one inch tube or a 30 millimeter tube. Comes with your scope mount, the adapter spacers for a one inch, and an Allen key. So how this works is these little spacers go right in there, one on the top and one on the bottom. You have to take it apart, they're keyed. So you can see right there, that one's got a key in it and this one's got a key. They go together like that. And that adapts it to a one inch tube. So you would take this apart, put your bottom one on with the spacer on the underside of your scope, top one on with the spacer on the top side, screw it down, it's for a one inch. With no spacers, it's for a 30 millimeter. And our last piece in the kit we have, this is a five position rail mount system. It's pretty nice, it's got a quick detach mount here. Um, the mount itself is five position adjustable by pushing forward it's easier when it's on a rail by pushing forward on this you can then turn it in a lock you can hear it lock into all those different positions so you can adjust this uh, any way you want on the rifle or uh, on your bow however you'd like to do it also in the bag with the five position mount we have a Allen key, an extra spring, and an extra quick detach tab for the bottom here. I'm assuming in case that were to ever malfunction or break, get broken, uh, get lost, something like that. This is uh, kind of an ABS plastic, but it is, it's thick and it, it feels tough. It does not feel cheap whatsoever. It's got a nice spring on here on the adjuster. Uh, it's got a couple, it's got some rubber on the inside, kind of like a Kind of an, like an insulator, keep your light from rattling around or moving, kind of grip onto it. So it's definitely of nice quality. Alright, so we've got our entire rifle kit, rifle or bow kit, <clears throat> laid out in front of us here. Like I said, you get all this stuff at retails for right around $150, $160 to $200, somewhere in that range. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you pretty quickly here. Uh, just, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Pop our end cap off, positive end goes in first. This will hold one battery with the uh, extension tube not installed. So there we tighten it down and we'll turn it on. And as you can see, even in the broad daylight, it is plenty bright. We'll take that off. Something cool that this kit offers. Take our battery out, put our extension tube on. That threads right onto the back. It's got an O-ring, keeps the water out, dust out, dirt out. 118650, two 18650s, both positive end first. Screw our end cap back on. Now we've got <clears throat> quite a bit different of a flashlight here. And just a touch brighter but definitely you get extended burn time with the dual batteries installed. Now we can take our push button off of the back and we can easily install our pressure pad installed. Just like that, pretty slick deal. All right, I'll show you real quick how this five position mount works. You're going to take your end cap off first. You can use this with or without the extension tube. Again, as with everything in the kit. Then there's a little spot here that says Predator Tactics. That's the front. You're going to slide the tube in first, like so. Then you can replace your end cap. Okay, so once you get your end, end cap replaced or your pressure pad, whichever one you're going to use, then you're going to go over in your little baggie here get out the bigger of the two Allen keys that come with the kit. And you can position this wherever you'd like it, over the label, back, in the middle, wherever you want, and you're gonna tighten that bad boy down. That's gonna tighten that collar down and hold that light in place. Then you have the ability to change your angles of your light on the weapon. 
Now in conjunction with the scope mount, obviously you're gonna mount this to your scope and that's gonna give you a 1913 Picatinny rail. And then that's gonna allow you to mount your light like that. And that will mount right on top of your scope. So let me grab the SPR and uh, I'll put it on and we'll see, see what it looks like on the gun. All right, another thing, as you guys can see real quickly here, we've got our 218650 batteries in the AC adapter, and one light will be red, or both could be red, actually. The battery that is not charged, the light will be red. The battery that is charged, it'll be green. They may charge at the same time, they may charge differently, but I used it for a while with one battery in it, so this battery is more dead than this one. It's been on a couple minutes now. This one's come back to a full charge. This one will take a little bit yet. Okay guys, so here's the SPR. And I've got the Predator Tactics Coyote Reaper mounted on the front here, right off the right side of the rifle. This is an M-Lock upper. So it's just an M-Lock 1913 or a Picatinny rail. And I've got the five position mount onto that. Then my Coyote Reaper into the mount. Now one thing that you want to be mindful of is if you're shooting, well it doesn't matter what rifle you're shooting, but uh, something like this, <clears throat> the uh, Troy brake I have on here, if you mount your light too far forward like that, you can have a little bit of carbon, carbon and you know, fouling that uh, gases, hot gas that comes out of that side of that brake and that can tend to darken or stain up your lens on your light so you want to make sure you've got that back an inch or so behind the brake all right so here is the same coyote reaper five position mount but we've got it on the scope mount here this is a vortex strike eagle uh, one to six by 24 and you can see here it is a 30 millimeter tube and we've got the uh, uh, Predator Tactics mount mounted right to the tube then our Predator Tactics uh, 5 position mount mounted right to the rail so there it is on top of the gun alright guys so we're out in the middle of nowhere here should be able to get a pretty good view of what the Predator Tactics Coyote Reaper is all about um, I've got my RJ3000 Brute headlamp on if you guys want to see a video on that go check out Michael's uh, on the channel, he does a great review of it. Uh, we both got the same one, it's fantastic. Um, which also, by the way, uses 18650 batteries, same as the Coyote Reaper. So if that's a pair that you had, you could definitely swap batteries. So I'm gonna turn this off, and uh, we'll get out the Reaper. So here it is on flood. You can see there's a road over there, some houses. Here it is on flood. Um, we're getting about, oh, I'd say a good 100 yards of uh, good shooting light. I'd say probably 80 to 100 yards of shooting light with it on the most openest focus. Um, now, like I said, we can focus that down. See that beam getting tighter and tighter. If we focus that down, it's actually very hard to pick it up on the camera. Um, it's got to do with uh, the wavelength of that light uh, But I'd say we're getting a good uh, 300 yards of, of identification there um, And that's actually all the way down right there You can see that square there Like I said, uh, there's actually a wood lot right there uh, but, the, but the camera is not picking up on it for some reason Would I be able to shoot that far? No But I definitely think you could see eyes um, but as for, I mean, practical shooting, I would say 300 yards for a target acquisition. Alright y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed my little video here of the Coyote Reaper. Uh, there's a lot of content to cover in the kit, but I tried to keep it as short as I can for you, keep it from getting too boring. Um, if, it helped it out, if it helped you out at all, please give us a thumbs up, comment on the video if you guys got any questions. And always remember to subscribe if you like our videos. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.